We have for many years been using digital technology in the aftermarket in order to optimize services, um, to minimize disruption for customers, um, and really to optimize what we do as a company. Um, we've been pretty good at the MRO piece, the maintenance and repair operation side, and of course we make trem tremendous products. And we're starting to view the combination of these three, rather than as three separate skill sets and entities, instead as one package solution for our customers. And that's what we're calling the intelligent uh, engine. And that enables us to think a little bit differently, particularly about how we extract value from the digital stream. We can start thinking about new types of services for our customers, where we feed back to them performance data, perhaps in near real time, uh, which lets them optimize their fleet. And of course, we can get more real-time data about how products are, are performing in service. So we're very proud of being part of the eFanX program. So eFanX is a demonstrator, so it's not a machine that's going to be sold. And it'll be the world's first passenger carrying flying machine, um, which uses hybrid electric technology. We're not propelling uh, the aircraft solely with electric power because it's a test vehicle. So we're taking a four-engined aircraft, in fact a BAE 146, removing one of the Honeywell engines, uh, replacing it with an electric motor uh, supplied by Siemens, coupled to one of our 3007 fans from the engine that powers the uh, Embraer 145. Um, and then inside the aircraft itself, we've got one of our 2100 engines that powers a Lockheed Hercules, we're mating it with a two and a half megawatt generator that we're designing, um, power electronic system um, that will come from our Singapore laboratories, and then coupled in with Airbus's own um, solution for the battery system for the aircraft.